connect a few fucking cables, and now they don't even answer. Shh. It's the new guy. He's waiting for some bigwig to show up. He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the bigwig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the Funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Rambo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble. Is that, Is that you? you? Come, Come to, to us. us. Yeah, yeah Dad, Dad, we're waiting, waiting for, for you. you. Scared. Come find 
me, please! Why won't you come for me, Dad? Don't leave me, please! Don't leave me alone! Special offers at Juneberry Mall. Now a free gift for engaged couples. Goldfinch Jewelry has a discount on wedding rings. Choose something special. It's a symbol of your love and something for her to remember you by after you decided to get yourself killed and leave your family all alone, Alex Murphy. Don't hesitate. Come and take advantage of our offer. <laughs> Dad? Is, Is that, that you? You... You, you look you're different. different. You're scaring me. I, I don't I like how scary, scary you are now. now. It's, it's not, not your dad, dad kid. kid. It's, it's not, not even, even a police, police officer. officer. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is anymore. anymore. After the, tone. the remains, remains of my husband, husband a, police a police officer, officer killed, killed in the line of duty, duty were used to create some kind of a metal, metal monster. monster. I need I to bury it to move forward, forward with my life. Do you have a funeral suit, suit that would that fit that empty, empty shell? shell? Is human. A world-class world husband. husband. A father. A cop. Did you hear? It's, it's true. true. You're, you're not, not one of us, us anymore. anymore. You're, you're not human. And, and you're, you're not, not a real cop. cop. You're, you're just, just the rotting, rotting remains, remains of Alex Murphy. You're, you're something, something that, that should, should never have been. been. Something, something that should not exist. exist. We, have we have to fix you. you. We, we have, have to erase you. And we, and we will. will. Just, Just come, come to us. us. 
Come to the rooftop. We're waiting. It's the craft that is stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will! You're not one of us. You feel that too, don't you? in the kitchen. Do you like it? The mug. Dad, Dad can you can fix you the fix camera? camera? I, I think, think something's, something's broken. broken. Wouldn't miss it, would he? Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attachments. No leverage. This is a gift. Don't take him away from me! Everyone wants to be back home with their families. Be back home. Welcome, Welcome Chopper. Let's, Let's take, take a stroll, stroll through, through your, your old home. home. Do you, you think, think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing happened. 
This is a one-family house, built by ZM Industries. It's for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten you. Why do you want to remember them? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them! Destroy them before they destroy you! Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you are a fusion of me and this metal armor. But you're not me. Not even a part of me. I'm dead and I want to finally rest. But you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. You are strong enough to take him. Don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Take this gift. Don't forget who you are. Alex Murphy! Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any- Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already- <laughs> You have the right to an attorney. I... I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back! Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know. 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery.
Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Are you having problems getting a hospital appointment? Are you tired of being at the mercy of those never-ending waiting lists? Do you feel powerless? It's time to take the control back. Take part in the family heart raffle and play the odds. A single ticket is your chance to win a mystery medical service. Anything from a dental appointment to a knee transplant. Don't Not the miss TV the TV personality I keep seeing on television. Have a seat, Robo. I want a visit to the pediatrician. Fingers crossed for a prostate exam. Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? It is no one else's business. Understandable. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? Yes, I deserve it. And why is that? I am human. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue, but no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation. Similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Cold. 
corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. Sometimes I'm surprised you got a high school diploma. Did you hear? The old man had a heart attack. Seriously? I didn't think he had one. You're one cold lady, O'Neill. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man! What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later, partner. Rookie, 
Actually, I do. Still not used to working with one hand. You'll eventually forget about being shot the first time. <laughs> yeah? When? When you get shot the second time. What? Murphy, in my office. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington, and let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. <laughs> 